Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you how to use LT Spice to simulate the natural and step response of a first order RC or RL circuit. In this video, we will consider two circuits one circuit for the natural response of an RC circuit, and a second circuit for the step response of an RL circuit. A key challenge in simulating RC and RL circuits in LTSPICE is to correctly simulate on-off switches in LTSPICE. This will be discussed in this video. RC and RL circuits are simulated using the transient simulation option in LTSPICE. In the edit simulation command window, which can be accessed as shown here, we need to enter the stop time, which is the final simulation time. This generates the SPICE directive shown here, which must be placed on the schematic. In LT SPICE, the capacitor and inductor components can be conveniently accessed from the menu here. In order to properly simulate RC and RL circuits, we need to set the initial voltage across the capacitor or the initial current through the inductor. This can be done by holding the control key and then right clicking on the component symbol. This brings up the component attribute editor window and the, here we can set the initial condition for the capacitor and the inductor using the syntax shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. Understanding how to control and set the switches in LTSPICE is very important. LTSPICE has a voltage control switch which you can find by typing SW in the parts library. This voltage control switch is controlled through a SPICE directive as shown here. Switch is the unique name given to this component. R on is the on resistance of the switch. R off is the off resistance of the switch. We set these values to 1 milliohm and 100 mega ohm to simulate an ideal on off switch. VH is hysteresis voltage and VT is threshold voltage. If we set VH equal to zero, then the switch is on or off depending upon whether the controlling input voltage is above or below the threshold voltage. This switch is connected between these two terminals shown here. The controlling voltage is applied to the positive terminal of the switch and the negative terminal of the switch is grounded. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. Next, let's look at how to use the voltage source to control the switch on off behavior. We use the voltage source in the pulse setting. The parameters are shown here. V initial is the initial voltage. V on is the voltage after the pulse turns on. The typical values of V initial and V on are 1 or 0, depending upon how we want to configure the switch. T delay is the time delay until the voltage assumes the V on value. Its typical value is set equal to the switching time. T rise and T fall are the rise and fall times of the pulse. They can be set to a very small value, for example, one microsecond. T on is the time duration for which the pulse remains at V on value. It is set equal to the switching time or the total simulation duration depending upon the desired switching behavior. T period is the time period which is set equal to the total simulation duration. Finally, N cycles is the number of cycles. It can be left blank. Since we set V initial and V on as 1 or 0, we can set the threshold voltage to be 0.5.
Let us now discuss the first example. Here the switch is initially in position A for a very long time and then moves to position B. We can see that after switching takes place, there is no voltage or current source in the circuit. Hence, this corresponds to the natural response of an RC circuit. This solution is taken from one of the videos in this channel. Here the charging time constant is 5 milliseconds. Thus we can set the switching time to 50 milliseconds which is much greater than 5 times the charging time constant. Similarly we can set the final time to 250 milliseconds taking the discharging time and the total charging time into account. We use two single pole single throw switches to model the single pole double throw switch. Each single pole single throw switch is modeled using a voltage control switch in LTSPICE. Pulse sources are set up to control the switch behavior. This is the pulse source controlling the switch at position A. These settings mean that V initial is 1 V on is 0, the time delay is 50 milliseconds, the time rise and time fall are 1 microsecond. Finally, the on time and the time period are 250 milliseconds, which is equal to the total simulation time. We have set time delay equal to the switching time. These settings mean that the switch is initially on and then becomes off after 50 milliseconds. Similarly, these are, these are the pulse settings for this pulse source controlling the switch at position B. These settings mean that this switch is initially off and then becomes on at 50 milliseconds. This is the circuit in LTSPICE. We can run this simulation and look at the voltage across the capacitor. We can enable the cursor by clicking here. We can see that initially the capacitor is uncharged and eventually it charges to 100 volts. Once switching takes place after 50 milliseconds, the voltage then exponentially decreases and takes five time constants to get to approximately zero. We can also look at other voltages and currents in the circuit. For instance, we can right click here and go add trace. This brings up the add traces to plot menu and now we can look at any desired voltage or current in the circuit. Suppose we are interested in the energy stored in the capacitor which is equal to half CV squared. The capacitor is connected between nodes 5 and ground. We can get this information by moving the cursor and this information is displayed in the bottom left corner. We can go add trace. And here we can write the expression for the voltage across the capacitor, which is half multiplied by the capacitance value, which is 0.5 micro, multiplied by V squared, and this is the voltage across the capacitor. When we click OK, we, we get the plot for the energy stored in the capacitor. LTSPICE is showing that the units are volt squares, but the unit for this is joules. We can see that before switching takes place, the energy stored in the capacitor is 2.5 millijoules. And after switching takes place, this then exponentially decays to zero. This is the second example. The switch is initially at position B and then moves to position A. We can see that after switching takes place, there is a voltage source in the circuit.
Hence, this corresponds to the step response of an RL circuit. The solution shown here is taken from one of the other videos in this channel. Taking the charging and the discharging time constants into account, we can set the switching time and final time appropriately as shown. This is showing the pulse voltage settings to control the switches. The switch at position B is initially off. It turns on at 1 microsecond and then stays on for 0.1 seconds and then becomes off. This behavior is achieved via the pulse command settings shown here. The switch at position A is initially off and then turns on at 0.1 seconds. This behavior is achieved using the pulse command settings as shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these settings in more detail. This is the complete circuit in LTSPICE. We can run the simulation. For RL circuits, we are interested in the current through the inductor. If we move the cursor over the inductor component, the probe changes to a current probe as shown here. When we now click, we obtain the solution for the current through the inductor. We can enable the cursor. The current through the inductor is initially zero and then it reaches its value minus 8 amps just before switching takes place. After switching takes place, the current again changes and eventually reaches about 12 amps. In this circuit, we can also look at the currents and voltages in other components. For instance, we can right click here and go add trace and this brings up the menu which enables us to look at the voltages and currents at other other nodes and components in the circuit. The modeling of switches in LTSPICE is different from the modeling of switches in PSPICE and PySPICE. If you are interested, the links to these videos are provided here. Thank you for watching this video.